I've met a lot of people about whom I could say they may never get out, they may always be a threat to themselves or others, but I've never met anybody about whom I could say this person is beyond redemption, uh, beyond hope, uh, beyond the possibility of restoration. And because of that, I don't believe we should be engaged in killing. Uh, the, one of the first uh, cases I ever represented, worked on where the man was executed uh, was a man we jumped in at the last minute. Uh, he couldn't find a lawyer. I tried to stop the execution, and, and every court I went to said, too late. And on the night this man was scheduled to be executed, I went down to be with him. And the conversation we have is a conversation I've never forgotten. He asked me, he said to me, it's been such a strange day, Brian. He said, said it over and over again. He said, when I woke up uh, this morning, the guard said to me, what do you want for breakfast? At midday, they came to me and said, what do you want for lunch? In the evening, they said to me, what do you want for dinner? He said, all day long, people have been saying, what can I do to help you? Can I get you stamps to mail your letters? Can I get you water? Can I get you coffee? And I'll never forget this man saying to me in those last few minutes, he said, Brian, more people have said, uh, what can I do to help you in the last 14 hours of my life than they ever did in the first 19 years of my life? And holding his hands, I couldn't help but think, yes, where were they when you were three years old being physically abused? Where were they when you were seven being sexually abused? Where were they when you were nine and 10 experimenting with drugs? Where were they when you were 14 homeless and roaming the streets with no place to go. And with those questions resonating in my mind, this man was pulled away. Uh, the hair was shaved off his body. He was strapped in the electric chair. And he was executed. And there was no question in my mind that we did something profoundly immoral, profoundly unjust, and profoundly at odds with human dignity and human rights uh, when we executed that man. And so for me, the death penalty is really about overcoming our impulses that are bad, that are negative, that are destructive, and elevating those impulses within all of us uh, that recognize compassion, that recognize redemption, and recognize restoration. The, the death penalty is a distraction uh, from an important human journey that gets us closer to each other, gets us closer to human compassion and understanding. And eliminating it just eliminates one more roadblock block, uh, to, the, to the destination I think we have to get to, uh, which is more justice, uh, more mercy uh, and more compassion.